What do we got? We got we got some we got some whiskey. I like we whiskey. whiskey. We got whiskey from Spokane, Washington. Well, that's a long commute. That is a long. How was commute. the drive? Did you enjoy it? That was fine. It was fine. I actually, you know what? It got hand delivered to me. This didn't come in the mail. Hand, 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 hand delivered. Hand delivered. Hand delivered. About maybe a month and a half ago. Mr. McFeely. No. Speedy no. delivery. Speedy delivery. <laughs> About a month and a half ago, I was in Philly, an old city. I had dinner with Whiskey Guy Rob and um, our good friend Whiskey Cast, Mr. Gillespie. And there were it was a it was a PR and marketing convention or something like that for the travel industry. So he was in for Visit Madison or whatever they're called, Destination Madison, I think they go by now. And it had a couple. He met a couple friends from Spokane. So they brought us some samples. So. Mark got a couple samples, we got a couple samples, and uh, you know they asked if we would repeat the whiskey, and I said sure. Very nice. We don't say no. So we've got two from Dry Fly Distillery in Spokane, Washington. Uh, what do you want to do first? Want Let's do the regular wheat. Okay. Let's do that. This uh, regular wheat was a triple gold medal at the Micro Liquor Spirits Award in 2011. Fascinating stuff. Fascinating stuff. And it's made from 100% white wheat from Wissota Farms. Wissota Farms. Wasoda Farms. Is that Wasoda Farms? Is that in Washington? I'm guessing it's in Washington. I'm guessing they're doing the whole local, local, local thing. Local source, local produced. Yeah, man. I'm Made by hand. By the way, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm screwing the cap on properly. So there won't be whiskey foul like no, last No, no whiskey fails. No whiskey fails. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that smells oh, nice. nice. That smells really good. This is uh, 90 proof. It's four years old. And I'm hoping it'll be along the lines of some of the good weed whiskeys I've had from Woodford or Bernheim. Mm. So we'll see... Uh, just how it is. Mm. This is 100% wheat, though? 100% wheat. That smells really good. I like that. It smells really, really nice. It's light. It's kind of light. It's vapory, but the smells aren't, like, you know, really, really strong. It's, it's, it, t- it smells like a gentle spirit. Oh, who doesn't like a gentle spirit? I got a friendly ghost downstairs. Ghost is getting uh, maybe a little bit of candied orange, some cane sugar. It's very light smelling, but very inviting. It's it's got again. There's some sweetness there. I'm not going to say it's a dark brown sugar. It doesn't feel like it's really deep and rich. It feels like a light, gentle, whis- wispy kind of drink. You think it'll be table whiskey? We'll have to see. I went in. Mm, I'm not getting the orange. I'm getting something else. I can't quite figure it out. Maybe it's a little bit of clove, but a very light clove. No cinnamon. I'm going to go back to that baked apple. I love my baked love apple. Your baked I want some apple pie, damn it. I'll have to bring apple pie to our next. Okay. Quiet it down. I gotta get those Krispy Kreme apple pies that I mentioned. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> There'll be Krispy Kreme apple pies. All right. I'm gonna now chew your whiskey. It's a hell of a lot hotter than I thought it was gonna be. It's hot. It's got a pretty good mouthfeel. It's all up front. It's all like, well, no. It carries it's up on. front, but then it's kind of like the roof of my mouth, and it's just kind of. It carries on. It's, it, but it's a nice spice. It's not like a harsh or abrasive spice. That's really nice. I like this. I like this a lot. Get a little bit of vanilla. Good bit of sweetness. Tiny bit of... That's me chewing my whiskey. Tiny bit of pepper. Cinnamon, pepper. What are you getting? Mm. Yeah, there's a little cinnamon. It's a little, a little peppery. Cinnamon. Yeah. Like peppery a, up front, a little cinnamon in the middle. Then you get a little like a nice, nice sweetness, like a, like a caramel, like a light caramel for a toffee. Uh, it's just very nice. It's very like it's it's warm and inviting, and it just I want to drink more. It's at forty five proof. You think that's about right? I think that's good. You still got a lot of oomph here, right? Yeah. I mean, I think it's probably it'd probably be really nice at higher octane yeah. too. But I just got. I wonder if it was if it was hotter, if that might overpower some of the pleasantness Maybe. you're yeah. finding. The mouth feels pretty light. It's, it's very light. It almost feels a little watery. Although it's a little viscous, there's a little bit on the sides of the glass. That's just because I haven't cleaned that yeah, glass a little bit of this. Uh, maybe it's just a dirty glass? Okay. Yeah, probably. Well, that's good. I want some, I want some strong whiskey in <laughs> a dirty glass. Maybe I'll right. just get some penicillin later. I'm going to get my, my rip torn on. Uh, uh, duck. Duck. You just... <laughs> the four Ds. The five Ds. Dodge. The five Ds. Dodge. Duck. Dive. Dodge. Duck. Dodge again. Or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. But now this is really good. I like this a lot. This is really, really nice. It's, it's, yeah, it's not, it's, the finish is really nice too. Huh. You know, it's like, uh, like a little caramel, a little bit of cinnamon. And it's, it's, uh, not terribly warming. There's no burn, but it's just pleasant. Mm-hmm. 
You mean the finish? The finish. finish. Yeah. It's, just, it, it's, it's hot pleasant. at the beginning. Yeah. Because it's, it's very vapory and kind of, you yeah. know, but, but not in an abrasive or no. harsh way. It's nice. That's a well-crafted really whiskey. Nice. And, I, and I, I assume that they're distilling it all themselves and they're doing I, all the work. I'm guessing it's all them. Yeah. This is good. And they recommend this for Old Fashions, a Whiskey Smash, or a Mint Jewel. Mmm. I like which, all three of those drinks. I think all of those would be... Uh, but you know what? Honestly, I haven't had a Mint Jewel. I love a Smash. Smash is fantastic. But I, and I do what like do you it. put in a Smash? The Smash? Yeah. You didn't like the Smash. The Smash was lemon, that? sugar. No, lemon, simple syrup, mint. That's the one I muddled. I Crushed it. ice. And then you put the... I see the mint. I'm not a big fan of yeah, that. Yeah, it's the thing. I like the mint. Not I think it's a good drink. I love that drink. Once you take the mm. mint to the back of your throat through a straw, you never want it again. Well, you know, you know. That was good. It was really that good. That was very, very I enjoyed good. That a lot. I would go eighty-seven. I think 80, 86, 87 is a good number. Yeah. Uh, you know, this I dare say this might be a table whiskey. Mm. And at the forty-five percent, that's yeah. a that's a good table whiskey. It is a good table whiskey. So I like it. I like it a lot. Like it. Let's uh, move on to the next one. Let's take a little break, give ourselves a little bit of palate cleansing, and we'll be back. Dry fly whiskey round two. Okay, so we had the wheat. Yep. The 100% wheat. And the wheat was delicious. We like that a lot. Now, FYI, I'm on their website, and I'm looking at their lineup. I'm not looking on my iPad, and they have pictures of all the bottles. Interestingly enough, the Port Finished Wheat Whiskey is the only bottle that's not completely full in the photo. It's, well, P.S., not completely full. Yeah, it's about half full. Half full. Or half empty in this case. So it looks as if perhaps the person doing photo duty uh -huh. maybe dipped a little bit. Was drinking. He was doing a little drinking. Drinking on the set. So that's encouraging for our next go round if yeah. we do the port finish. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to try this one with the Triticale because I've never had the rye wheat hybrid. Nope. I'm a big fan of wheat whiskey. Mm -hmm. See if this retains more of the you wheat talk flavor. Or if it picks up more of the rye or maybe blends a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. I think in one of the things you read, it has uh, that wheat sweetness and then it picks up a little bit of. The rye sharpness. Yeah, it's like so, said, it starts like a rye and it ends like a wheat. Let's see means. how it goes. Is that all right? Uh, Did I short pour you? Looks good to Did me. Did I short pour you? I'll let you know. Am I, am I, am I, am I cheating you? Know. you? I'm not cheating you, am I? I'll Sir? You know. Cheers. Chin chin. All right, let's go with it. Ooh. See, I think I'm picking up, again, probably because I know it's different. Yeah. I'm picking up a little bit more right. on the nose than uh, just the sweetness that we picked up. This, this, this is a lot more, it's a, it is a little bit spicier on the nose than the other one. Yeah. It's a little bit more vibrant, And this is also at 90%. Okay. So it's another 45. So the alcohol content's about the same. So you're not picking up more vapors. No. It's just more of the, the grain. It's a little vapory, but it's not, it's not, it's not over, overwhelmingly vapory, if you will overwhelmingly vapory. Easy for you to say. No, it's not, actually. That's why I had to say it slow. Overwhelmingly vapory. Not so easy for you to say. <laughs> no, not at all. Anyway. I say, I say. I say, boy. Um, yeah, it's it's a little more herbal. There's a little more herbal notes coming through. And again, I don't know if it's because they just said it's rye and it's going to trigger me to say herbal notes. No, I think we're getting a little bit more of that. We get a little sharpness. And uh, I find with rye, you get... A little bit of an orange flavor to it. Mm. This time, I, I didn't get the orange that time. Yeah, I'm getting it more this time. I'm getting and a little more of that. Like orange bitters and, or and like, you, a, like an orange zest. Yeah, yeah. There's like, a, like an allspice or something like that. There's like a nice little spicy thing going on more there. More your baking spices again? I love baking spices. So again, can we go back to the pie? I want my pie, man. <laughs> Where's my I pie? I want my pie. Give me my apple pie. Grubhub. I thought I'm stop by with yeah, the Can we food. do that? Can we do that? You know, we got a couple. Uh, I got my thespians downstairs. Maybe I'll have one of them run the Wawa for me. Chewing? You chewing? You're not going to. I was told. Chew your whiskey? I must chew my whiskey. That is. Ooh. That's spicy. very different from the other one. Spicy, yeah, decidedly different. It's, yeah. A lot, it's a lot spicier. It's a little more spicy. vibrant. Yeah. There was a lot of oomph up front. The, the first 100% uh, wheat, I think we got a lot of the alcohol up front. Mm. In like a peppery kind of flavor, and then it kind of rolled into Chilled a out. nice. It was really just smooth and table whiskey flavor. Mm -hmm. This is right this at is, you. There's this a is lot decidedly of, more hot. Yeah, there's a lot of oomph up front. Mm -hmm. That's you know almost the rye sharpness, and it uh, it carries well through to the flavor. Again, very mild both of them in the finish. You mm -hmm. don't get that burn. Yeah, it's a nice finish, but you don't get that alcohol burn. No, no. but but uh, there's a little bit of different. 
there's a little bit of like bite at the end, maybe a little bitterness maybe, or a little dryness. From, I don't know what that is. But no, this is good. This is and really nice. I think you've mentioned this before with some of the things where up front you almost get like your gums anesthetized. I'm getting a little bit of that from We're this. not pulling teeth in it. No. No. Because we need, we need the Elmonger's leaf blower. <laughs> I don't have a leaf, a leaf blower. blower. Well, no, I do have a leaf blower, but it's electric. It's so. not a leaf blower. Yeah. What's that going to do? I don't know. No, that's really nice. It's, it's a little hotter. They said that, that one, the other one was supposed to be pretty dry, but I didn't find that to be as dry. This is very dry. Yeah. This I guess that little, too, in the finish. This is a little, a little more dry, dry than that one. You knocked that sucker back. And they, uh, they recommend this for a Sazerac, mm. something you enjoy making, a Spokane Mule. Which I guess is a Moscow mule or an Irish mule. Just I'm guessing with it's some, that with some ginger beer. With some Washington spirits. Ginger. And a Boulevardier. 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 <laughs> Boulevardier. Uh, I, don't I like know. a Boulevardier. I don't really know. A Boulevardier is essentially a Negroni, but instead of using gin, you put whiskey. Oh. It's good. I love okay. it. It's, it's a good drink. It's a very good drink. It sounds good. But anyhow, um, very nice. I think I'd like the port one better. Yeah. Triticale. We didn't do the port one. Yes, we did. The first one was the port first one. Was, the first one was the regular one. Was it? Yes. You sure? We didn't do the port one. Oh, yes. okay. Well, whatever. I like, the, I like the I like the regular, like the regular wheat better than I the Triticale? I like the regular wild. See, I'm going the other way. All right. I think I like the other one. Well, I'm a huge fan of wheat whiskey. Yeah. I think I like the the, oomph of the different spices that were involved yeah. in the second one. Okay. Both, I, both really good. Yeah. I mean, they're, really. they're, they're very different. They're very, mm -hmm. very different. But in terms of something that I think I could just see just kind of relaxing with... This is more. This is this is the table. This is the one's, yeah. One's table whiskey. This is table whiskey. That's one. That's table whiskey. whiskey. This is more of a maybe a Friday night kind of jumpstart you into the weekend mm -hmm. kind of drink. So it's it's very good. It is very good. I would put it maybe just a, a hair below the other one. Though. So if you just give, preference, give not the first one an eighty-seven. You'd give this 85, 85, 85 86. And I might go the other way. Give an eighty-six. Maybe I give it eighty-six. Okay, that's fine. Right. But they're both solid whiskeys. Different strokes for and, different folks. And for four-year-olds. That's uh, pretty good. No, it's, it's good. pretty good. I mean, we're not consumer reports. These things are very subjective. We're just telling you how we feel, whether you like it or not. But uh, thanks to the folks. Yes. Well, I guess we have to thank two, two sets of people. Thank you to Dry Fly Distilling for hooking up our Spokane, our Visit Spokane folks with the whiskeys. And thank you kindly to Kate and Jamie of Visit Spokane for hand delivering these whiskeys. Very nice. And for a lovely night of the town in Philly. So, anyway, cheers Thanks. to the fine folks in Spokane. Cheers. Salute. Ching, ching.